If you think both clips look similar, here is how they look after time remapping them. 24 FPS clip is more choppy and laggy. Make sure your main composition is set to 60 FPS. I have added a video, as you can see the video has 24 FPS. Resize the clip if you want and then pre-compose it. Add Twixtor plugin to the video layer. Now simply follow the settings. The frame rate should be the same as your source video. In my case, it was 24. Now simply follow the rest of the settings. If you make velocity or slow-mo edits, there is no need to do this Twixtor step separately, but make sure your composition have 60 FPS for smooth results. I will remove the extra part from the clip. Now your video has 60 FPS, and you can simply export the edit as you normally do. For second method you need Topaz. You can add raw video here before editing, so you have a clip with 60 FPS for your edit. In AI Models tab search for Kronos Slow Mo, and it is available in all versions of Topaz. You can slow down clip speed here too. As output frames I will select 60. You can choose any number you want. Once done, click on Start Processing. It took around 7 seconds for each frame in my computer, but it depends on your GPU speed. For this method, you need to install a free software called FlowFrame. Drag and drop your raw clips to the software and then select the frame rate you want. I will choose 3x means 72 frames per second. You can also apply slow motion here if you want. There are so many AI modules, but I choose Rife 4.0 which is the latest one. Once selected, click on Interpolate, and it took one minute to process this video. And that was it. Thank you so much for watching.